Hey everyone, I'm TCS23 and welcome back to Crossout Basics. One of my subscribers that goes by the name Swifty recently posted, I would love a video on some of the most effective and advanced builds under 2500 power score. In preparation for this video, I tested at least five different builds, each with multiple playthroughs. And in the end, there was one build that stood out above and beyond all the rest. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my best and most effective build under 2500 power score. But before I do, I wanted to explain a few of the terms mentioned in that comment. First off, in case you didn't know, power score in the game of Crossout is a number assigned to every part that can be placed on your vehicle and in theory, it represents that part's effectiveness. Once you've completed your build, you will be given an overall power score rating and that's what we're talking about. So in this case, we cannot go above 2500, which means we can't use this build. So what then makes a build effective and what makes it advanced? If we take a look at the tech tree, there are six different levels of parts. Most new players don't have access to the higher tiered parts. So the way I look at it, any part added to a beginner build that is special or higher would be considered advanced. Now the only question that remains is what makes a build effective? For me, there are three questions I like to ask. Number one, is the build efficient? In other words, does it make use of the right parts in the right way? Does it have both fuel containers installed and are they hidden properly? Does it use a car jack when it should be using a radiator instead? The second question is, does it support your teammates well? Meaning, does it make use of a radar or radio in order to communicate with your teammates? Many players underestimate the value of these types of parts. And finally, the last question, can this build earn you MVP or at least rank in the top four on a consistent basis? As you can see here, the build that I'm about to show you won me six MVPs out of 10 games. Our team never lost a match, I never lost any fuel, and I never dropped below fourth place within all 10 matches. So with all that being said, would you like to see what I consider to be the best build under 2500 power score? Well then, here it is. Now it might not look like much at first glance, but let me break down why this build is so effective. The first and most obvious parts are the M37 piercers, which are considered special parts. These machine guns have good durability, a high rate of fire, and exceptional turning speed. The next part is a fused radiator, which will keep your machine guns from overheating by 71%. Now, if you don't have a fused radiator, you can still use a standard one, which will give you a 50% bonus. So don't worry too much. Oh, and by the way, if you plan on using this build, I recommend that PC players assign the piercers between two buttons. That way you can trade off firing one while cooling the other. If you balance it right, you can essentially have unlimited firing. The next crucial part is a Maxwell radar. Not only can this radar show visible enemies from 300 meters away, but it can also detect enemies behind walls and out of sight from you. This gives you a huge advantage on the field, and transmitting that info to your teammates up to 300 meters is a big bonus as well. And just to make sure your teammates are in the know, I added a radio to this build as well, which increases the info to your teammates up to 450 meters away from you. Now at this point, I'm sure you would like to see some of the highlights of this build. But before we do that, I wanted to make sure to point out that if you have the Perseus co-driver available, you should definitely have that equipped, since any extra bonuses to your weapons are great to have. And one last thing I have to mention is that after recording all of these matches with this build, I discovered that the sound was missing, which is a total bummer. So I'm going to include some background music in its place. Okay, so let's check it out.
Well, that will wrap up this video for my best build under 2500 power score. I hope you really enjoyed watching. And if you're interested in seeing the design of this build for personal use, then keep watching until the end. Other than that, I'll see you here next time on Crossout Basics.